So, here's my unboxing video of the Bax EDM uh, EDM generator that I committed to buy half a year ago. And last week I got message that it's ready for shipping, and today I got the well, well packaged stuff not yet opened and uh, first impression is great nice text on the tape proper labeling this side up protect from rain and yeah in general very good quality packaging uh, also got the invoice or sh packing slip saying everything I ordered, basically all the little connectors, whatever, 29 parts, all included. So yeah, let's, let's open the package and see what, what's inside. Wow. Now, now, now I understand the reason why uh, Mike, the developer and pro producer of the generator, said that keep, keep the packaging in case of problems. Because, as you can see, this is well packaged. It can't go anywhere. So if there's a problem, you need to send it back. This is just perfect. So I have to protect this little cardboard packaging for my cats because they do like to eat the cat, uh, cardboard. And uh, yeah, great to see. The first thing I see is pass, pass, pass. Release test report and product BX17 Art Generator. Firmware version, blah blah blah. Hmm. All sorts of errors. Yes, everything. Everything's fine. Everything's good. No problem. Problems there. <coughs> Second page, uh, the same packing slip, and an invoice. Okay, good. So everything's here. into the side and uh, there's cables Ah, heat shrink tubing for the lids wire and just for general purpose, whatever. Also, I love these static shielding bags. They're just awesome for electronics. Use them and don't do like me. Uh, you have the three wire cable for the light and probably from some sensors also I could a few extra meters and there's a 8 core screen cable I think this is this for the generators sensing input and control signals <coughs> also I got the nice little warning light And in here we have the lids wire. Uh, 
this can get expensive real fast if you just want a couple of meters plus uh, Mike was very generous and offered to join these lug ends to the cable because he has a soldering pot and you generally speaking you can't do a litz wire with just a normal soldering iron it's not powerful enough and both ends tinned so this is perfect very slick looking cable very good so that's the power connector the speaker and connector I think that's for, for the warning light um, yeah this is the differential converter to get the differential analog voltage to just one voltage non-differential whatever that is shielded connectors Connector, connector, a USB to RS485 cable, <coughs> just to get the thing talking with the computer. More connector shielding. A very small plug for something something maybe the sensing wire I'm not sure and then the LED for the DVD this warning light LED for the warning light <coughs> so that's all the little stuff It's not heavy, I think. I would say 8 kilos, maybe. Yeah, the whole package is 9.7, so. Nicely wrapped to keep all the dust out and if something comes loose in the package it doesn't go into the machine. This is a 19 inch rack size so I think I have to purchase a rack <laughs> or build one. And this was a very nice touch from Mike. This is actually proof that this generator works because this has been cut from a piece of aluminum with this generator and then apparently glued on and polished so very nice touch and very nice idea to make a logo with the as proof that the thing works other than that yeah. Just connectors. And I have to say I'm almost dying to just open this thing to see inside, but yeah, <clears throat> I think I'm not going to do that just yet. smell of fresh electronics. 
hard to see in into the case. But there's the power electronics and a couple of circuit boards and the main power supply units uh, here these three and it has a fan yeah. okay. well that's for the unboxing next operation will be figuring out all the connectors and everything that will be in a future video so stay tuned for that I'm I'm gonna have to fix my wire EDM a little do some wire stuff to it and maybe prepare some space for this also so until the next time see ya